Well, we're looking down here at Ipswich Waterfront, and believe me, everywhere is bathed in glorious warm sunshine, and the crowds, literally thousands of them, have turned out to wave the field away. And right in the middle of our picture, Mark Cavendish, the reigning world champion, enjoying his final competition before he goes to Holland to defend that world crown. There's composition then of the leading group. It's interesting, Clark, uh, Matias, House and Whiting. And six minutes now, the lead for these four riders. How much longer will they be able to stay out there? A little bit more pressure being applied at the front now. One or two riders trying to get a little bit twitchy. They want to get involved. Well, here's the sprint then for the final climb of the day. Christian House gets it on the line, so he picks up the four points. So it's a full house for Christian House. He has got 12 points, and that means that he will collect the Skoda King of the Mountains jersey on the podium at the end of the stage. There are the leaders, they've capitulated, they're sitting up, and they know that uh, their job has been done today. It's been fruitful for two. The riders in Jura Racing, as we mentioned earlier, really starting to pile the pressure on now. A crosswind coming, and uh, which is why they're all riding in the left-hand gutter. The, the wind will be coming across from those open fields there on the right-hand side as we see a crash now. And, uh, well, there we are on the floor. It's one of the riders from uh, the Node 4 Giordana team. That is Rico Rogers there, their sprinter. When all the riders are fighting for position, there's not a lot of room between the riders, and one go down, and that's it. No really big, powerful sprinter there, but a lot of riders from the track background. Jack Bobridge, of course, holder of the world record for the 4,000-metre individual pursuit. Maybe he fancies his chances. They probably do, and they've got, they've got strength in depth in that team, and they just need to make sure that they get themselves on the front. They've got the strength to do it one and a half kilometers to go Wiggins you can just see in those yellow sunglasses that he's worn ever since he won the Mayo Sean Cavendish has gone down and there's a massive crash at the back there and that's left Bradley Wiggins off the front a brace of riders and the team of Sky are clear and Cavendish is on the deck and he is not a happy chap at all I'm just wondering what happened there he just it's, oh let's have another look at it what happened there Rob he, he either touched a wheel or his front wheel came off the side of the road and he got caught on the gravel I don't know massive loss then for the Garmin Sharp squad and uh, Tyler Farrar, one of the big sprinters, is there with Cavendish now and into the finishing funnel. And just look at this it's Boy Van Poppel leading this one out, trying to get the stage victory. But on the right, it's a rider from Sky, so the main sprinter's on the floor, but Sky is still in the shake up for victory. And that looks like Luke Rowe to me, throwing his arms in the air. Yes, Luke Rowe wins stage one here in the showground in Norfolk. What a finish! What a day here then for Luke Rowe, the biggest win of his career and he was only bought in the race at the last minute to replace Logfist. He wins stage one.